Hey guys, this video is going to be part 2 of my like evaluating enchants video series or whatever. At least it's going to be like the second part to the pants enchants video I uploaded today, even though I won't upload this today, so who cares? So I uh, I just have a list of all the pants rare enchants uh, in front of me. Uh, I, at least I hope it's all of them. I got them from the official pit custom enchant list parentheses complete that hasn't been updated in like half a year actually longer than that uh, yeah I'll just quickly go ov over all the enchants and what they do if I think they're good because a couple of them are pretty good, a couple of them aren't here we go I'm gonna put Celeste gameplay again in the background probably maybe Geometry Dash would be more fitting but whatever anyway number one Assassin Assassin is probably like one of the m most fun uh, enchants on this list. Basically, when you shift and someone attacks you, you teleport behind them. And it even works to the point where s like someone bows you. Even ass Assassin 1 is just when someone bows you. So Assassin 1, not not that good. But once you get to 2 and higher, it, you can just teleport behind someone mid-fight, get out of a combo, start comboing them from behind. They won't know what's coming. You can also do some really cool like trick shot things, like I remember like jumping off the cliff and then someone bows me and then I just teleport behind them and knock them off instead. That was that was cool. So Assassin is really fun. It's also pretty good honestly just for like PvP. Like obviously it doesn't give you more damage or anything but just makes you get have more hits. Also it has the word ass in it twice. That's funny. Haha. <laughs> okay, number 2, Divine Miracle. So Divine Miracle again doesn't really make you that stronger, but it's still so good. I mean, tier 1, maybe not. Tier 2, eh, 40% chance. But tier 3, 60% chance. It makes it pretty good, you know. Uh, I didn't say chance of what? Chance of not losing lives on your items. So, uh, it's, it's not the exact same as Divine Intervention. Divine Intervention saves your entire inventory. Divine Miracle only saves lives on your items, so you can you can die, get Miracle, and you still have to like not you still lose your diamond armor, just no lives. So that's that's good. So 60%. It's just one of those. If you have Divine Miracle threes, you know you can use them and go streaking with your favorite sword and have a lower chance of losing lives on that sword. You know, like with the respawn absorption that I talked about last video. Anyway, next up, Escape Pod. I've had bad experiences with Escape Pod. I think, like, I've used it and it worked, like, once or twice. It actually launched me into the air. The other time it just launched me into the side of a building. So, I don't think it's good. Maybe it's okay. Uh, I don't think Escape Pod is good. Basically, when you get low life, it just boosts you up, like, punches you into the air like the punch sword and you get some regen I don't know exactly how much regen but it doesn't matter, I, I don't think it's that good next up Gomro's Heart probably probably the least liked rare pants enchant I think it's okay like if someone chases you and you get out of combat and you know you stand still for a second type slash spawn but maybe they hit you with a bow or something like in that millisecond or well, in that second you know you're, you're back to full health so it can be useful I I do see how it's not really that good so Gomorrah's heart not really great maybe you can like have a pair on you while you're streaking and if someone chases you wear them like if they also have boo boo on them pretty good but yeah not, not that great on its own anyway insta boom is next Instaboom again, like it does less damage than TNT, but it's what it's mostly used for is fun. It's utility, you know, Fortnite those uh, impulse grenades. That's that's what Instaboom is. So you can run away, you can chase people, just movements. So it's fun. So it's it's probably pretty good. Yeah, it, it's decent. Next up, Martydom or however you pronounce that, Matterdom. No, that that's wrong, but whatever. You. Uh, uh, not not good, not good. You, you, they're literally there to lose lives, just like needless suffering. 
I mean, I'm gonna make a super dark video, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, you just, you die, you spawn creepers. So if someone has a box, you have martyred him, you just go in there, let, let yourself be killed, and maybe you'll get a kill. It's really just annoying for everyone else using them, just like TNT. For for everyone else while you're using them. Anyway, next up is Pitplop. So Pitplop is infamous for before the fix, just Pitplop 1 was invincible, and you can just AFK at spawn, which is a very not gamer like thing to do, by the way, so I never did it. Like botting, just lazy, pathetic. Anyway, Pitblob is okay, I guess. It's really not the great, you don't ever see people streaking with it, but like it, it's a little bit more damage, you know. You can have a you you can make your own box or a ring, I guess, and streak with it. Have your slime just again do damage. Probably really good with soups as well. You know, you probably won't kill a lot of people, but you can get some more assists. So, you know what? Just because I thought of that soup thing right now, I'm gonna rank it number one on the list. It's not a top ten. Never mind. Okay, pretty good though with soups, I guess. So next up, Phoenix. Phoenix, I've I've had pretty good experiences with Phoenix. You know, it's it's like Divine Miracle. You just wear Phoenix pants so that you can use your favorite sword without with less chance of losing a life on it, you know? So Phoenix. I, I would always use Phoenix for like events again, just like respawn absorption. And then just use a good sword. And then when you do lose a Phoenix, like when Phoenix procs, I think is the word, you just spawn again. Get Phoenix back. I think someone hopped on me once during an event during like pizza and I had Phoenix or I guess just some non well it was like some sort of alpha white rocket guy or a nick person just with OP gear, pull bow. I had Phoenix and ran away. Anyway, so Phoenix is pretty good. Like, the pants themselves aren't good, but yeah, you just use them with good gear that you don't want to lose. Anyway, Singularity is next. Singularity is probably also known to be one of the worst rares, and it is. Because Singularity 1 is garbage, 2 is garbage. 3 is not good either, because <laughs> even, like, a lot of people won't do more than 1.5 hearts of damage to you. Sure, hunters will, if you have, like, a high bounty, they have bounty hunter pants, but, like, norm normally people don't do more than 1.5 damage. Definitely won't do more than 2, and definitely won't do more than 2.5. So Singularity is not good. It really should get a buff to be more like like 2, 1.5, 1, or maybe like 1.75, 1.5, 1.25 instead, something like that. Just like this, it's not good. Anyway, next up, Snowballs, <laughs> also not good. A, a lot of pants rares really aren't that great. They're just like, more like cosmetic, and that's what, m that's what makes them rare. Snowballs, you, you can throw snowballs at people, it slows them, so I guess, and it gives them knockback as well. So you have that slowing people down and uh, the other thing you, if you hit several snow blocks it does true damage snow blocks snow balls like I have snowball three pants if you hit if you hit I think three snowballs on the same player without missing it does like half a heart of true damage so it's not good but it's something so snowball is not good either snowman army also not good you get like ice chunks or whatever snow chunks from killing people, then you can spawn snowmen. As far as I know, snowmen don't even do damage. They just knock people around and annoy people. So I don't really see the point of snowman army. I don't think it's good. Next up, one of the best, Solitude. Solitude 1 isn't that good. Solitude 2 and 3 are really good in my opinion, though. So what Solitude does, it's it's like the opposite of Knocklad, except on drugs, on steroids. St st steroids? Whatever, don't mind my pronunciation. Uh, so, yeah, if there's solitude one is if there's one person in like seven blocks radius, you you get minus thirty percent damage reduction. So, you know, it means as soon as the second person comes, you're you're back to normal. But you know, f for it's for one v ones, and then two and three, uh, it's fifty percent and sixty percent damage reduction. But you can have two people around you. So that makes it a lot better and a lot more like 
a lot more useful in a lot more scenarios. So, yeah, Solitude, really cool. And lastly on the list is one of my favorites, even though I haven't had it in so long, Wolfpack. Obviously one of my favorites because it's dogs, you get dogs, they fight for you, they can kill people. Pro again, probably really good with soups, I, I don't think I've ever bought, I've ever had Wolfpack with soups. Probably really good, good for team deathmatch, just like Pit Blob. Yeah, you, 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 you spawn wolves on kills, like every 5, 4 and 3 kills I think. Don't quote me on that, I don't have the actual enchants in front of me. Because even if, if, like if I look at the list right now, it's gonna be like... Where is it? There it is. On every fourth, third, and third kill. It's probably wrong, though. So a lot of these enchants are outdated. But yeah, you, you spawn wolves and they, yeah, whenever someone either attacks you, or you attack them, or someone attacks a wolf, all the wolves team up on him. You can you can right click on them to make them sit and lose uh, focus on that person in case a friend accidentally hits you. So they're really not good if you're actually like with other people because they will accidentally hit you or the wolves. But yeah, it's extra damage, pretty cool, pretty. You get you get doggos. They they all even have names, and if someone kills them, it'll be like XX Shadow Hunter Legend Twenty Seven killed. Bobbert. They don't actually have those kinds of things, but like, what kind of names do they have? Like Bob, yeah, I think it would be a wolf name. So, so it's cool. I guess as an enchant, definitely above average, maybe not OP. Pretty good though. So yeah, that was my thoughts on all the pants rares except for sewer pants and aqua pants, which I probably won't be making a video on and dark pants which I will make a video on probably if like I don't get cyber bullied or like kill myself or something um yeah thanks for watching leave your thoughts be like mm, uh, Gomro's hearts is actually really good the assassin is really bad uh, yeah l I I'll read the comment I'll be like hmm interesting I Carly mean anyway see ya